Not eating? I'm not hungry. Come and have a cup of coffee, then. All right, I'll have a cup of coffee with you. Thanks. Well, come on in. You're back on sugar yet, Sarge? No. Nope. Court case. Well, there's nothing to talk about. You got away with it. He was dismissed, yeah. It's the same thing. And he was guilty. I'd stake my job on that if it's still worth staking. We all know he was guilty. So he walks away laughing. That's not exactly your fault. Of course it was. It was my case. Insufficient evidence, they reckon. Well, that makes it my fault, right? No. You write it off as a loss. A bad one. Well, that makes three bad ones in a row. Three jobs gone wrong on me. Can happen to any of us. Not three times running. And I needed that one. So? What now? Eh? You beginning to feel sorry for yourself? Bounder, wouldn't you? No. Well, I mean, my potential must look great now on paper. Yeah, but who sees it? Nobody sees it. Nobody makes a reputation overnight in this game. Never have done. No. Oh, to hell with it. Hang on. I'm not finished yet. Sit down a minute. Who would do this? I mean, who? It don't. Touch anything. Who would want to do it to us? Everyone outside. Um, I'll phone the police. Oh, come on. Don't stand gawking. Come on. Come on. Now, wait on. It's just that your, your concentration goes. Yeah. Well, you try to kid yourself it's concentration. Actually, it's confidence. Three lousy ones in a row, you start to lose confidence in yourself. Well, that might not be such a bad thing. Well, it is to me. I'm no good at failure, Sarge. I just can't cope with it. About time you learn. Thanks. There's no use sitting there moping, son. That way the next one will go wrong. And the next one. Probably will. Oh, come off it. Don't go all fatalistic on me. Take some leave. I don't want it. You know, you're the only one who can put it right. Oh, you've uh, finished then, have you? Yeah. Do you, uh, you fancy a break in?
Anything missing, Mr. Trench? I don't think so. Have you looked? Well, not properly. Well, they usually go for television sets. We don't have a television Record set. Record players. We don't have one of those either. Well, a washing machine or a fridge. No, we don't have a washing machine or a fridge. Well, perhaps you'll have a careful look through your things and make a note of anything you think is missing. We will. Mm. Access through the back kitchen door, right? Right. I'll get fingerprints to start in there as soon as he arrives. Mm -hmm. Fingerprints? One of our fellas. He'll see if anybody's left any telltale marks. Oh, I see. Do you mind if I look upstairs? No, no, you go right ahead. Oh, what a thing to happen on a Sunday of all days. People who do this sort of thing don't care what day it is. Well, they should. They should care. Do you have any idea who it might have been, Mr. Trench? If we knew that, we'd say, wouldn't we? No, I mean, is uh, anybody in the neighborhood you're suspicious of? Anybody you don't trust? We don't really know anyone in the neighborhood, not that well. Hmm. Haven't been here long, eh? About 12 years. Been any strangers knocking at the door? No. Any odd phone calls? We don't have a telephone. And you reckon this happened while you were at church, eh? Must have done. What time did you leave home this morning? Oh, my wife and children left at 20 past nine. I left at half past after lockup to make sure that everything was tidy to come back to. We believe in tidiness. You do that every Sunday morning, do you? What? Leave home at the same time. Yes. Do you have any enemies, Mr. Trench? If we don't know anyone, I don't see how we can have. All right. Better make a note of a few details. It's sort of funny about that house, Sarge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was no... no comfort anywhere. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, not anywhere. There was no modern equipment in the kitchen. No radio, no telly, no electric fires anywhere, just nothing. Well, perhaps they like living that way. Good luck to them. Eh? Yeah, good luck to them. Well, who's gonna tidy it up, you or me? It won't take two of us on a Sunday, will it? Oh, so which of us does it, eh? What do we toss for it? Well, uh, actually, I was hoping to get away by midday. All right, I'll tidy it up for today. <coughs> Thanks, Sarge. Just thought you might need this one to uh, put you on your feet. I'll need something better than this to get back on my feet. Well, that's a job. There's no rewards in this one. Rewards? That's what you need, is it? No, I just need a better job than this. Now, if you've got a nice little armed robbery, give us a shout. All right. See ya. And the biscuit barrel, that's gone as well. Well, put it on the list, then. Right, they haven't been in my room. Oh, you're lucky then, aren't you? Dad, Kia, can, I, can I go down? You can take this. Can I go down to the shopping centre after? Why? Just to look. The shops aren't open. I know, I just want to look, that's all. No. Well, there's no harm in her just looking, is there? It's shops that aren't even open. Well, if she wants to. It's Sunday. She stays home. I mean, you know the types that hang about the streets these days. 
She's better off at home. We all are. Seems to me we aren't safe anywhere anymore. This is still home. That house this morning, though, there was... there was no comfort in it anyway, you know? The kids were just like zombies. This town's full of zombies. Oh, yeah? So what are you doing here? I've often wondered. Still, you've led a cocooned existence, haven't you? You're all right. Daddy saw to that. Good for him, then. The place where I was brought up was just like that house this morning. Not quite the same, though. There were different reasons why we didn't have anything, you know, we didn't have any money. I mean, things like phones and fridges and cars, they were right outside our way of life. But there was a kind of comfort. There was... there was warmth, and that's what mattered. All right, so you've come a long way. Not far enough if I can still be reminded. You know, I'm beginning to think we're not compatible. What? You see too many depressing things. I never see them because I never have to look at them. That's because you don't want to look at them. All right, then I don't want to. And that's my choice, seeing only what I want to see. You've got it made, haven't you? I've had it made all my life. Why should I change? Yeah. Let's get out of here, shall we? Unless you want another drink. No. Oh, no. Friends of yours? Crime squad, the heavy mob. They look heavy enough. They won't like it here. There isn't a dartboard. Joe Skinner, of all people. Hi. Nice. Very nice is that, isn't it? Is this your local, then? Uh, well, sort of, yeah. What are you doing going all county these days? Hey? This joint. No. Oh. Yeah, you'll be getting your own pewter mug next, won't you? But it's somewhere to come, that's all. Yeah, I bet it is. Well, I'll uh, see you. Then. Hey, hey, hey. And what have you been slipping up lately? What? I've been hearing about your little troubles at work. I take you home to lunch. Only my parents are there. It's all right. I'm not hungry. Anyway, you're not much joy today. I know. So where shall I drop you? Anywhere. Look here, just drop us here. Here? Yeah. But it's miles from anywhere. It's all right, I want to walk. I'm sorry, Anne. That's all right. Ring me tomorrow, eh? Yeah, I'll do that. Ta-da! Waitress service on a Sunday. All right, Andy. There you go. Tap. Solved your break in yet? No. <sighs> oh, there's someone working very hard downstairs in fingerprints. Yeah, I bet. Like we are on a cup of tea. <laughs> there won't be anything. Not according to DC Skinner, anyway. Well, why didn't you tell him to handle it then? Oh, I'm glad to get rid of him. Still grieving? Yeah, getting on my nerves. Well, why don't you tell him, then? You can't talk to him. He's only interested in the big jobs, and when they go sour on him, he gets upset. He doesn't want to know about the little ones. Hello? Hello. Have you come back to see us? No, no, just passing. Whose car is that? Dad's. 
All right. You all go off on holiday in it, do you? No, we don't. I see. And my dad doesn't drive it much, he just polishes it. Oh. Well, what are you three up to, then? We're just playing. Playing? Oh, whenever I see kids playing, they're always jumping around or shouting or swinging on gates. Not allowed to swing on gates. I see. Well, cheerio. Have you caught the burglar then? Uh, no, not yet. But I think we will. Whoever did this, I hope they're punished. They'll be punished, one way or another. You weren't angry. Angry? At all this. Well, what's the point of being angry? children break things, you're angry. That's different. I don't see why. Look, whoever did this was sick. Now, anger's not going to help, now, is it? Have you finished that list yet? Not yet. I haven't looked round the rooms upstairs yet. Well, go on, then. There's no hurry. Those policemen. You could tell they weren't interested. Weren't interested? No. Well, they looked interested enough to me. No, they didn't care. I was watching them, watching their faces. They just didn't care. How would you know? I know. I've seen it before. See you back. I'm just off. Any more on that breaking? Nope. Fingerprints? Phone down just now. Only the family so far. Don't tell me you came all the way back here just to ask that. Olivia, remember? Oh, yeah. Forgot. You know, it's funny, that house. Mm, about it. Well, I've been thinking about it all morning. Well, watch it, son. You begin to take an interest next. I am. Have I said that list round yet? Stolen property? No. Good, good. I think I'll collect that myself. Tomorrow, when the old man's at work. You should be asleep. Can't sleep. Why not? Just can't. Never do sleep properly on Sunday nights. I think it's the thought of going to school in the morning. Well, what's wrong with school? Everything, I hate it. They'd laugh at us. Who do? All the others. They always have done. They seem to think that we're something different. Jimmy's always getting beaten up. He never tells me or your mother that. Well, he didn't like to. I mean, Dad, why should we be different? We tried to make friends. Well, at least we used to, but we've given up now. 
There are always uh, bullies and troublemakers wherever you go. Keep yourself to yourself. That's the best way. Oh, we've tried that. It doesn't work. Well, I say it does work. We're going to go through it tomorrow when they find out we've been robbed or they are going to enjoy that. Enjoy it? Yeah, they'll enjoy it. They're just like that. They'll love every minute of it just because it's happened to us. What sort of people bring up trash like that? Eh? I don't know. Eh? What sort of people? They still talk about it. Make jokes about it. About what? They still talk and make jokes about what? She says she can't sleep. Yes, I know. She's not the only one. What? Well, you never seem to sleep, not properly. Yes, well, that's me. That's the way I am. Never used to be. You were different once. Years ago. Yes, well, that was years ago. This morning, before you left the house, you were all right, were you? Yes. Why? I just wondered. Friday. In your dream world again. What? They've been talking about you. Upstairs. What's all this about Friday? You didn't do your work properly, did you? What? Those shipping orders for Tilbury. You didn't do the advice notes. Yes, I did. So where are they? On the consignment, of course. They're not, you know. You forgot, didn't you? As usual. So the drivers couldn't take them with them this morning. Well, you'd better do another lot, hadn't you? <sighs> yes, I, I think that's it. <clears throat> uh, do you know, no? Fire tongs, biscuit barrel, candlestick. Oh, what sort of candlestick? Oh, uh, an old one, uh, made of brass. Uh, two cork table mats, salt cellar, bathroom sponge, yeah, all right, I'll, uh, hand towel. I'll read the rest myself. Full of lot of stuff for somebody to steal, isn't it? Yes. I mean, why this lot? Well... Uh, you know more about thieves than I do. Where does your husband work, Mrs. Trench? At Hudson's. In what department? Uh, he's in charge of dispatch. Oh. Why do you ask? Well, I'm just curious. Only, um, if you want to talk to him, I'd rather you no, did no. it here at home, if you're safe here. Safe? Uh, yes. What do you mean by safe, Mrs. Trench? Oh, it uh, doesn't matter what I mean. No, but you just no, said... No, it's, it's nothing. It's um, just something different. It's nothing to do with you. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a robbery, that's all. Something that's happened to us, something that shouldn't have happened but has. And there's nothing that's going to change that. It's done. 
Yeah. Well, we'll have to see if we can find out who did it, won't we? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, Mr. Winters. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm quite sure that I prepared the documents. Yes, yes. Well, of course I keep a copy. It's just that... No, I'm about to prepare a new... All right. Advice notes. One stapler, packet of economy labels, your pencil set, one ball of string, your coat hanger, and an ashtray. From this office? Yes. But who could have taken them? You? Me? Well, then they how did found. they... found. Where? In a neat little bundle, in the washroom. Must have been there since Friday, the cleaner reckons. Did you put them there, Mr. Trench? No, well, why should I? I mean, it's a funny business if you did. Well, I didn't. I I had no reason to. I expect it was some of the lads having a joke. Hope so. Quite a load. Where? Trencher's back garden. Hidden under some timber. Quite a haul. Hmm? For a jackdaw. But jackdaws don't bust up homes, do they? Nope. All right, get them fingerprinted. There's no rush, Sarge. I think I know who did it. Let's see. Let's talk it out. I've got plenty of work to do, but this shouldn't take more than ten minutes. Why, you needn't bother. I'm handling this one myself. Thought you sounded confident. I am. Sure it's important enough for you? It will be. What about your rewards? Well, I think I'll give them a miss. I'll make do with some satisfaction instead. Hang on, please. You see, there's some things that really annoy me, Sarge. They get me right up to here. Like what, for instance? The way some people run their lives. I mean, they just don't care how it affects anybody else. All right. All yours. Thanks, Sarge. Hello? Oh, uh, uh, Hudson, is it? Could you give me the dispatch department, please? Yes. 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 Yes, they're all from our house. Good. They're all ours. Good. You caught the person responsible then, did you? Not yet. Oh, then, uh, where did you find these? In the back garden. Your back garden. In our back garden? Yeah. You put how... Oh, you mean somebody dropped them, threw them away? No, they were hidden. Hidden? But who would want to hide them? Oh. Who would want to steal them? And then there's the damage. Damage? To your living room. Oh, yes. Well, if it's all right with you, I'll take these home now. No, it's not all right. A crime has been committed. Well, I'm willing to forget that now that these have been found. Well, we can't just forget it. I mean, your wife and family, they were upset. They were shocked by this. Yes. You see, if there's one thing that annoys me more than somebody wasting police time, it's somebody who causes damage. Now, there's lots of different ways of causing damage. I mean, we can even cause damage to ourselves. Come and look at me. I mean, I drink too much, I stop out late at night, I'm fond of girls, you know what I mean? I don't need to hear this, not from you. What? All... all this. Well, it's just an example of what I mean by how you can cause damage well, to yourself. I don't want to hear it, all right? All right. So can I go home now, please? Yes, of course. 
Oh, there is just one other thing. I'm sorry, it's, uh, I've got a bad memory, you know, it's another fault. You said you were the last one to leave the house yesterday. Yes. How long after your wife and family left did you leave to go to church? About ten minutes. Look, I told the sergeant that. Oh, did you? Oh, well, that's all right, then. Well, what are you after? What? What are you trying to prove? Well, I'm not trying to prove. Uh, asking all these questions. Well, they're just, just questions, you know. I mean, they've got to be asked. Now, are you quite sure there's an out you've forgotten to tell me? Yes. You're quite sure of Yes. All right. Look, I'm... I'm very, very sorry if I'm not very convincing. No, no, you're It's right. just that I, I suffer very badly from nerves. I, I always have done. Well, most of us do these days. Have you got a good doctor? Yes. Who's that? So, if there's nothing else, I'd quite like to go home now, please. Yes, of course. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, put us through, will you? And, and get me, um, Dr. Henderson next, will you? Ta. Ah, uh, hello. That's Dr. Brent's surgery. This is Detective Constable Skinner, Newtown CID. I wonder if you could help me, please. Uh, could you tell me whether the doctor's got a Ronald Trench on his books? Yeah, OK, I'll hold on. Right, thanks. I'm sorry to trouble you. Oh, you mean he came here? Yes. This morning? Yes. He only wanted to know what was stolen. What's wrong? Nothing. Well, he only asked for I don't the like list. him. Not that one. He's crude. Bullying. I don't want to have to talk to people like him. Not that kind. We ought to be protected from people like him. But he's a policeman. That makes no difference. They, um... They found our things. Oh, where? In our back garden. Oh. Are you all right, Ronald? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm... I'm fine. It's just this business. It's upset me a bit, that's all. Yes. Well, it's bound to. Anyway, it's all over now. What? Well, if they found our things, it's all over. It's finished. No. That one. He doesn't want it to finish. Better than yesterday. Oh, much better. Can I have a large brandy and a large whiskey, please? Anyway, I won't bore you with shop. I don't mind providing it's cheerful shop. I just don't like being depressed, not when I can avoid it. Oh, most people can't avoid it. I can. It's one of my privileges. You're an overprivileged bitch. Do you know that? Yes, I know it. But I thought you liked that. Oh. Thought you liked me to make an impression for you. Cheers. Anyway, I'm onto a winner. Good. You know, it's not a big crime. It's nothing fantastic, but it's all mine. Come in. What are you doing here? Morning, Mr. Trench. You've no right to come here. 
Well, I just wanted a word with you. These advice notes. Coming here, showing me up. You have no right to come here. Showing you up? Well, that's what you're doing, aren't you? No. Hounding me. Hounding you? Well, it certainly seems like I it. I just wanted a few words with you. It seemed the ideal place to come. Well, it isn't. I could have dragged you all the way down to Newtown Police Station. These people are, as always, someone watching, waiting for somebody else to make a mistake. Which people? This lot. Are you sure you don't mean all people? What? No, it doesn't matter. No, you say what you were going to say. Do you still suffer from paranoia, Mr. Trench? No. Or any other sort of neurotic illness? No. Two years ago, yes. you were a dear patient at a psychiatric clinic. Yes. Oh, is that right? Yes, but I'm, I'm better now. I'm all right. Who decided that? What? That you were all right? I did. And so you discharged yourself from the clinic? Yes. There was no point anymore. That place, the things you heard there, the language and the abuse. How, how do you know all this? Oh, my doctor, he told you, I suppose. No, I didn't have much luck there. <laughs> well, that's something to be thankful for anyway. There's only one psychiatric clinic in your area. I went down there, I waited, spoke to a couple of other day patients, and a couple of them remembered. You've no right to do this. Well, I'm just doing my job. No, your job is to solve a crime. Well, that's what I'm doing. But no, you're not. You're prying into other people's private business. <laughs> my problems are confidential, or, or so they should be. Oh, I can see what it's like these days. You can't afford to have your house broken into. Not these days. It's better to keep your mouth shut. Two years ago, one of the symptoms of your illness was that you used to punish yourself. It wasn't exactly. Is it true? I was ill. I, I don't care about the fancy labels they stick onto people. They're good at hounding too, you know. But some people do punish themselves. I expect that they do. And others, their families. What? I said some people punish their families. Well, I don't punish mine. I'm too busy protecting them. From what? From, from everything. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Trench, but I've got to ask you this. After your family left for church on Sunday, did you break into your own house, do damage, steal things, and hide them in the garden? No. Why should I want to break into my own house? Well, you might have done it without realising. I've told you. No. I'm only trying to help oh, you. Oh, yes, you're trying to help me, all right. According to my information, these acts of self-punishment always took place on a Sunday. Now, why was that? You get out of here, will you? All right. I just know that he did it. He waited till the family left for church, then he did it. Why? Because he's sick. Get some medical evidence and prove it. No, I won't get much recent evidence. Trench won't cooperate. Forget it. Wrap it up. It's not worth a lot. No. Can't just leave it. Not that house, that empty woman. Them kids that don't act like kids. Well, perhaps they're happy living that way. No, there's no chance. What right have you got to decide that? Every right. Playing God. Enjoying this one, are you? Yeah. Think it'll look good on paper? You know it might. All right. Take it easy, eh? Easy? Yeah. Not too much pressure. Pressure? I'm not even going to see the man till Sunday. Sunday?
What did you want? He said that that man Skinner is coming to see me. Today? Yes. But why today? He hasn't bothered us since last Wednesday. I don't know why. Well, what about church? Oh, I'll not miss that. He'll have to wait. Ronald? Perhaps... Perhaps I did do it without realising it. Did what? You see... You can never tell. It's always such a... Battle. All of it. He must know. He probably knows more than me. About what? Only... I won't go back to that place. Where? I won't go back to the clinic. Do you? No, no, I don't have to. Um, you, you get the children off to church, eh? Well, what about you? Well, I'll be along later. Now, go on. Robertson. Oh, you mean on the West Estate? Yeah. Trouble, are they? Uh, always have been. Well, the kids are the parents. Cool. Uh, well, I know where the kids are. I'm trying to find the parents, huh? Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Well, well, they won't be. At this moment, they'll be either outside the King's Arms or the ferry boat waiting for the doors to open. Tom Stone in? Yeah. Well, I'll better have a word. It's his ground, isn't it? Yeah. So what is it? Job? Yeah. Picked up a couple of kids over in Ormskirk. I'm down here collecting the parents. Kids? Yeah, some of these specialists. They watch houses for people going to church, then they brack in. They've admitted eight. One was on your patch. Hmm. When? Last Sunday morning. We couldn't find out worth nicking, so we smashed the place up. John. Took a few things just for a laugh, you know. You know about it, do you? Yeah, I know about it. Oh, <laughs> 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 
lost again. Yeah, I've, I've lost again. The man has had a breakdown. No, sorry, send DC Skinner off duty. We shall both be here tomorrow morning, first thing, sir. <laughs> 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 